Time now for our pet of the week segment. So sit down, not the dog. Talking to you at home, the Wisconsin Humane Society is here with a pet in need of a new home. I'm joined by Carly Erlin. Uh, and Louie. Yes. He's a very sophisticated dog. He's got the beard. He looks like a very calm, <laughs> gentle old man, but he's, he's a year old. He's only a year old, so he's definitely still a young guy. Uh -huh. A lot of energy, a lot of confidence. He hasn't oh, been yeah. shy at all. He walked in here with some swagger. Oh, yes, he did. Um, and, of course, like all of our dogs and cats, he is neutered, uh -huh. um, microchipped, and vaccinated. And a good boy. And very good, and he's going to be ready to go home when we open at 11 at our Milwaukee campus today. Perfect. So uh, yeah. probably about as big as he's going to get. Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit bigger, but not much. Yeah. So if at all, he's going to be a good, he's a good size. He doesn't mind being picked up. Mm -hmm. um, so he really is. He's a great guy. No, perfect. Uh, and um, you guys have uh, a little bit of an issue you're dealing with. Yeah. Right now, right? So I'm here to kind of talk about our furry friends pet food pantry. Mm -hmm. um, this pantry is for people and their cats and dogs who are just falling on hard times. They need yeah. a little bit of support. Um, and that pantry um, that we run is completely off of donations and right now we are empty, so we are See, bare. Yeah. Um, and so we're reaching out to people to bring in cat, dry and wet cat and dog food, mm -hmm. kitty litter, hi hun, <laughs> um, and treats. And those can be brought into our Milwaukee, Ozaki, and Racine locations. You were talking about food, so you got his attention. Yeah, right? He was like, where, where? <laughs> I know, wherever it is, I'll so take it. We were talking in the break, you guys see a big spike around the holiday season. Right. So a lot of people start to donate. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not enough to carry you through the right, entire year. Exactly. So I think now is a good reminder. Yeah, it is. And, and like New Year's resolutions, you got to right. stick with it, right? So we need some motivation to really yeah. help and a lot of the dogs. The food that's brought in really helps people keep those animals in their homes right. so they don't have to surrender them. Mm -hmm. um, and then that helps us out. So it really does, all around makes a big difference. And if you are somebody who can't come in to us, you mm -hmm. can go online to our website at wihumane.org and you can actually donate food that way as well. And you were talking about uh, all, all of the campuses yep. uh, are yep. having food shortages. Exactly. So. And we always work with each other. If one has more food, we'll get it to the other. So if right. you, any of our three locations in Milwaukee, Ozaki, and Racine, um, you can donate and then we'll get it where it's at the most need. Perfect. So uh, yeah. if, if you're interested in, in adopting Louie or any other pet, <laughs> You go to this Conti Mates and say, I got to say, uh, you got to be a beard lover to adopt Louie. He's very right? <laughs> proper. You go to Milwaukee's uh, branch at uh, 4500 West Wisconsin Avenue. We have more information posted on our website. That's WISN.com.